Howdy! Welcome to the Rhinestone Roper Ranch. We're going to be talking about the beginning trick roper trick, which is the flat loop. We've got a spot cord rope that we bought from Western Stage Props. It's got its original Honda on there. This is how to start your flat loop. First thing you do is you make sure there's no twists in your rope. Now this has at least one twist in it. That's pretty obvious. Now I could just take it like that. It's gone, right? No, it's still in there. It's just hiding. You don't want it to hide. You want to get it out. Twist is that direction. I can grab this Honda over on this side, bring that around. And our twist is gone. There might be one more twist in there. You can see a little wave in the rope. But uh, one twist is not bad, so we'll start right there. I'm 6'3". This rope is 12 feet long. Oh, there's another twist. For this 12-foot rope, my uh, spoke is going to be less than 3 feet. I'm going to grab the spoke with my rope in hand, stick out two fingers, grab the side of the loop. Just like in the wedding ring video, we're going to put the Honda over to the uh, far side, grab the inside of the loop. This, uh, my left hand will stay right down here at my waist. I'm going to get this rope engaged, bring it up horizontally, and drop that spoke when it's right here. Bring it around, let go right here, and spin a loop. Bring it around, let go. Horizontal loops are slow and graceful. Don't have to go too fast. You go just fast enough to bring that loop up horizontal. Now, if you go too fast with this light Honda, the Honda will scoot up and it'll ruin your loop. If you go too slow or throw it down too hard, gravity will grab that Honda and slide it down and you'll lose your loop the other direction. Here we go, I'm gonna bring around here and drop that spoke when it comes close to my knee again. Right there. there. Now you should be able to notice a couple things. One is, the circle I'm making with my wrist is all wrist. There's no arm in it. For this size loop, the circle is very small. The other thing you should notice is what I'm doing with my hand. I'm twisting that rope. Twist, 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 twist. Twist it with my thumb and forefinger. Then I'm grabbing it with my third and fourth fingers while I re-grab re with my thumb and first finger. Twist, twist, grab, twist, grab, twist, 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 twist. Every time we make one circle with our loop, it puts, puts one twist in the rope. This rope will only twist so many times before it kinks. When it kinks, the rope trick is done. And we might want to go from this flat loop to do another trick. If you want to do that, you have to keep twisting with your hand. Right there. Now, if you notice, my Honda slid a long ways that time. Sliding. You can see the, the circle is oblong and it's small and my spoke is bowed out to the side. My spoke was bowed out. Come from my hand, bows out, come back to the loop. Now I tried to speed it up, but the spoke was too long. Once you get that bow in your spoke, you can't speed it up and make the loop grow. All I did was speed up. I couldn't keep up with the twist. And look, you can count the twists that are in that rope now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's at least eight twists in that rope. So I have to get the twists out before I do the trick again. One way to do that is to bring your, bring your loop all the way down to the Honda and just shake those twists out. If, if you have a short rope and there's eight twists in there, that's probably the easiest way to do it. Just shake them out build your loop again. Now we've got a few twists left in there. Like I demonstrated before, one way to get those out is to just pull the sides of the loop and make them disappear. 
that doesn't get him out. The way you need to do it is either slide your loop down the end and shake him out or twist your Honda around. We got one twist in there. One more. There we go. We got a good loop to start with now. You can go either direction with your flat loop. Take it around this way. Or you can go the other way if you want. Doesn't make any difference. Whichever way you go, you got to be able to twist it that direction with your hand. So what else can we do with our rope? We can get our, get our flat loop going. We can change hands. And you take it around your back. You should take it around your back probably in the direction you're spinning it. I spin it this direction, so I'm going to go this way. As you notice, I'm doing a, a two-handed merry-go-round, taking that flat loop around my body and changing hands. The rope doesn't spend any time behind my back spinning. It does a half a spin back there. As the Honda's coming out, around is when I take it back. I change hands when that Honda's coming close to me. Change hands, the Honda goes back out of way as it comes around my body. With all these rope tricks, the most important thing is knowing where your Honda is. If you can do the same trick with the Honda in exactly the same position and do it three times in a row, then you know you understand the trick. If your Honda is always in a different spot and you're having to recreate the trick every time, that's not good. That means your, your loop is going to fail when you're under pressure. You want that trick the same every time so you don't have to think about it. It's all a feeling. If you're a bigger kid or an adult, this trick should be not difficult to learn. Just a few practices and you'll start to get it and later on you'll understand it. If you're a small kid, it's an excellent trick, but you might need a rope with a swivel in it. It is difficult to learn to make this small motion with your hand and twist it at the same time. If you have a rope with a swivel handle, you don't have to worry about the twist, you just worry about making the motion. And of course there are different different ways to make a swivel a swivel rope and we have our own special method and, and we sell these we sell these affairs and you can order one from us if you want last year we met the Reese family while in Pennsylvania here's Addie spinning her flat loop joined by her sister Allie And here's big sis, Elena, riding her horse and spinning two loops at the same time. Yeah, good job girls, thanks for sending us the videos. The flat loop is, is kind of a fun loop because you don't have to have the best rope to do it. You don't have to have the, uh, the cotton spot cord, the number 12 spot cord rope. You can do it with, uh, you saw us do that utility rope. We had a swivel on that. This rope here is called sash cord. It's a really cheap version of spot cord. It's got a pink spot in it. It's what people use for uh, clothes lines and for the sash that pulls and opens those old windows. You can pull the rope and open your window. It's a, a limp rope, but still, it's just fine for the, uh, for the flat loop. Here we go. Have a great time. As usual, press the like and press share and then have a great time with your rope.
We'll see you next time.